Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you a great piece of software called Notepad++. Now, Notepad++ is basically the alternative, free alternative I should say, to Notepad, the basic Microsoft text editor. Now what's different about this, Notepad++, is that you can actually have different languages you can set, uh, let's say example HTML, and it's basically a cleaner interface, um, it color tags the example HTML tags so here let me just show you an example and then here we have title and then hey I don't know I'm just gonna type some random HTML codes and show you how it color codes it so here you can see the basic um, tags themselves are in blue and then your text is in black so I find this actually pretty useful when you're scripting and you, there's different colors for different uh, languages actually so here let's say we go to um, I know some C++, but that'll pretty much look horrible. Uh, I don't know, but there's a bunch of other examples. If you're a coder and are not already using Notepad++, but rather Notepad, uh, I think it's time to switch. This is actually much better, even if you're not a coder, let's say. This is just basically, um, it shows you how many lines you've uh, written. So let's say here, let me give you an example. Here you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And let's say some are important to you, like let's say you have, you're writing a script for a play, for example, and one line is really important to you, so you just start. You click right next to the number, and uh, it basically stars it out for you, which is pretty cool because it shows that it's important. You need to look at this, maybe edit it, rearrange it, something like that. But overall, this is mostly for scripters because it has a compiler here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Console, I should say, not a compiler. It has FTP folders, basically sharing. You have a uh, macro saving. You have multiple tab features, so you can open up new tabs here by double clicking or selecting a new tab here. You have the option to save all your tabs open or close all, or just close the one that you're um, open right now. And basically, the other basic features of a notepad editor or word processing editor I should say. You have some search features here nothing you know overly amazing. You have your format and the language which I find is probably the most useful. You have your Ruby, Shell, Smalltalk, SQL, uh, Pascal, normal text which is set by default. You have DOS, uh, Java, HTML and some other ones you can fiddle around with. Here we also have the zoom in feature macros, uh, run, you can run your program, let's say you just scripted, plugins, if you want to download some, window, and uh, pff, some questions, or help I should say. So here's the download link, I'll leave this in the description, just do a Google search for Notepad++, it should be the first one, it's a SourceForge page, and all you have to do is go ahead to download, scroll down, Actually, no. Uh, do the uh, executable file. And it brings you to another page. Just download the um, Notepad++ installer. And I think something else. I'm not sure. Hold on. Let me just scroll down here. Yeah. This is the older versions. So you can download the Notepad++, uh, the executable, the zip file, or another extension the release version right so you can just download it from there I'll leave the download link in the description and so if you're not already using this or if you're using another text editor and you want to switch if you're looking for one notepad plus plus is the way to go it's free easy to use very simple helps you with coding scripting or even normal text very useful and uh, that's pretty much it so if you enjoyed this video please comment rate subscribe and thanks again